morning. I'm going to do a version of this uh, this uh, watercolour that I did a couple of days ago, but I'm going to do it in line and wash. I'm going to use my my riggers, my old no, well, they're not really riggers. This is quite a, probably number three. Black waterproof ink. There we are. Fabriano, 130 pound weight from Art Discount. Um, you need to keep your brushes very clean, don't let the acrylic ink dry. Uh, and use a separate pot of water for cleaning your brushes, otherwise if you use your painting water it will go black or, and it will, it will spoil the, the, the actual painting. So I'm just going to do a, um, some sort of uh, sketchy sort of ink work. Very dry again here. Uh, this is the uh, the river bank coming out here, come around there. Just a few marks, and we'll put put fairly um, low horizon here. Where the river goes round. The corner. It's my local river. It's 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 just my interpretation of it. <coughs> but we need to put plenty of bank in here. It's really, it's quite a, um, a, a smooth bank, but there, there's a bit of an island that comes out in it. It's probably from the regrowth of a, of a willow tree that has taken, and it's quite a, a bit of a feature in this bit of river. So, there's a path, footpath coming down here, recycle this. Uh, right, I just don't want to, oh, there's too much ink on that, a little bit hard there, but never mind. What you put above, put below, to show the reflections. Uh, some big carp in this uh, shallow chalk stream. We call it a river, but it's a it's a Surrey chalk stream, and it runs from well, debatable, but it runs we think from Croydon to the Thames over about sixteen miles, and. Is surrounded by housing estates, factories along it, very badly polluted uh, sometimes. Not now so much, but occasionally it does get polluted. Just so it's a tangle of uh, of uh, twigs and branches and stuff. So I'll show some wiggles for ripples, broken water. Oops. Tend that to go quite a start, but anyway. And we've got some trees coming up. Don't make the trunks too too skinny. You get quite a thick line with the rigger, or well, a small one like this.
these things look better than they actually are because of the uh, contrast between the black and the white. There's all sorts of trees in here. I won't do them all in. I'll put some in the rigger and paint. But these are the, the, the close ones. anchored out there in the shadow of this uh, tree. Let's put some uh, detail in here. Okay, uh, now we've got some distance in here, so we'll just gently dry brush that. Let's be lost with the colour. And then we've got the other bank. Uh, it's got a bit coming. You can make marks with all sorts of things, lolly sticks sharpened, bits of wood, bits of stick, matchsticks stuck in dowel, bit of dowel. across here going <clears throat> when when I finish the drawing I'll uh, dry this thoroughly to make sure it doesn't pick up any wet paint when I put the, uh, the the wet wash on, keep this side a little bit subordinate to the other side. Foliage in here, a bit heavier. I'm not doing a copy of, of any photograph that I've taken of this, it's just I'm creating a piece of art rather than a photographic likeness of something. I don't really like doing that, couldn't do it anyway. I have the patience, I like to get it out of my system, do a painting, and get it into a mount and photograph onto YouTube and then think about another one. But we're, we're looking after our grandson Ben today for the school holidays. Uh, so put just a bit of texture in there. 
bit of, bit of harder stuff here now. My trees don't really exist as uh, botanical specimens. A lot of willows and and some lovely London plains. Huge, huge trees. Not like the redwoods, but but by our standards. They're lovely trees, some of the biggest in Europe. Along here. Let's just get that anchor there. So, although I painted this view on YouTube quite a few times, I've not done a, this all line and wash or ink drawing. better than that, it's a bit too solid there, so, but I'll have to sort of balance it up a little bit, otherwise it'll look a bit lopsided. Just lose a bit of that, in the murk shadow, because a lot of shrubs, uh, rhododendron type trees, uh, uh, down here there's one of those massive Rhubarb looking plants, massive, spiky leaves, I don't know what they're called. Huge leaves, you could have a sweep on the leaves. They look almost prehistoric. Okay, right, it's a bit I've done, I'll clean that brush. If you're listening on headphones, take them off, I'm going to dry the painting or the drawing. Palette, usual palette, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey and burnt sienna. I'll just give the palettes a little bit of a wipe over. Okay, that's a fairly clean start. I want the light in the back. So my new hake, which is there. So I'll uh, wet the paper all over. I don't stretch paper, I just do this with it. The paper expands uniformly and then we can reclip it as we go. Very dry atmosphere still, and it's going to have a have it with your watercolours. It's a little bit of uh, paint, uh, black picked up in there. Let that soak in nicely. Right, a bit of, uh, bit of lemon yellow in the back now, I think. Just clean the yellow. Get the grey and the blue out of it. Bit of a lizard. Isn't that nice yellow. 
in there. What you put in the sky, put in the foreground, I mean in the uh, in the water. So there's there's a bit of bit of red in there. Right, not so far, so good. Um, we'll go in there with a bit of bit of um, ultramarine, a bit of a lizard, and a bit of paint grey. And we'll just keep that sense, sense of a bit of light in there. Put that in there. See that's dried there, that's what's happening with this temperature here. It's, it's very warm by our standards, this is well above the average for the year. But it's very nice when you're taking the grandson with a fishing net down to the to the Wandle, but in Beddington Park it's uh, beautiful. It's all over the place, Beddington Ponds, really nice. But that is just uh, stop there. It's dried in. I put all the water on, but it's still dried in and hasn't treated. I wanted that effect all the way round there. But uh, anyway, never mind. While that is wet, let's uh, put in some nice background colours. A bit of, uh, bit of yellow, a bit of sienna. Not strong enough. Put that down there. The background here is not very far away actually. This. Put a bit of sienna in there, I think. Well, that's where we can. Oh, let's just. We can do some of this. Just to show some trees in the background there. Mm -hmm. Right, now we're going with the harder greens. I'll mix blue, lemon yellow, sienna. Right, let's Put a bit of red in there for this dark shadow area. I need more than that. Nice 
nice greeny bit in here. Right, when that dries, I can get, well, I can scrape out with my fingernail. Just to create an impression of there being more trees behind it, which there are. It's the same on the other side. Not strong enough. You've got another tray, the larger tray. You could try it just using paint straight from the tube. You need a large surface area and you have water slopping all over the place, but it's a it's a great way of saving you scrubbing away at the hard colour. you can see that <coughs> the intensity is now being evened out a bit with the heavier colour. Put a bit of red in there, just warm it up a bit, a bit of blue. Get some dark green in there. Clean my brush. Well, I think we need a bit more strength in there now. So, same blue, yellow, and sienna. It's just But this is all shadow area under the canopy of the trees. So oh, let's put that in across there. Hopefully this is just going to take the this back into the distance, give an impression of there being something going on there. Now, the rigger now, well that dries off a little bit. Uh, a good colour for a distant tree, it's not very distant really, but it's lemon, yellow and sienna, raw sienna. Just gives a bit of light distance, if you know what I mean. It just separates from the background yellow. Right. Give a bit of 
bit blue in there as well. Just to show these more distant as well. That's some loads in there. Just a bit of palette blue. The stuff that's lying around on the palette. It's like greys. No way to do the reflections yet. Just the impressions don't make rods for backs. Just keep it simple. Don't try to make it look perfect. And then when that's dry, I can put in some darker blue and burnt sienna. A nice rich greeny dark. That need some plenty of water. More in there. So we're doing blues, blues. So I'm up into that canopy there. Now all the time I'm trying to reduce the intensity of, of the black. Painting dark around it. <coughs> I might put some more heavier green on there. Let's do the same over here. Get some of these in here. Up a bit, put a bit of ivy in there. Just waggling the brush around just to get some colour off it. Have another green with the lemon yellow and the blue, and mix a bit of light with that. Too limpid. That 
color there wasn't heavy enough. Look at those, just have those sides. Right, we've got to dry. And then I'll re-wet the foreground and go over some reflections and see what happens. <coughs> Earphones off. There's a little bit of blue in there. Over here. And there's some darker blue red. That's drying. Okay, so here we go. Uh, yep. Red, uh, the uh, lemon yellow and the cinnamon. Uh, Bit of crimson in there. It's dried, dried too quick. Just gently showing, we're trying to show these uh, trees that come down here. that one uh. oh. it's quite a dark blue picture this one isn't it I'll just dry that off. Hey friends. Just to show some, show a, a fly landing on the water or something like that. Right, I'll just put that in a mount. Just, 
Take the clips off of it. And we'll see what that looks like. Right, Ravensbury Park, or well, the ones in Ravensbury Park. I think it's a little bit muddy down here, but uh, I'm not so bothered. That was a pity, that should have gone like that, but we can't do much about that when the conditions are like this. Uh, so I'll zoom in, give you a look. Oh, I'll just move the camera around. And you can see. That's what I did there. Uh, I'm across here, going up into the top of the trees, the other side, slightly subordinate, slightly different. Nice bit of blue there, just to give a bit of. Yeah, that looks quite good on the screen. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.